Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick in another video tutorial and this time I want to talk to you about printable stickers and how you can turn them into digital stickers to use in your planner. So first of all, I suggest you have somewhere to place your stickers. Me personally, I have this sticker book which actually you can also find at the shop. This book already comes with some stickers, as usual these are ready to lasso and copy and use on your planner. But it also has a ton of blank sections. These labels, I added them myself and the way I did that, you've seen it in my previous videos where I show you how to enter text in a different app such as Graphic or Vectornator and then you can copy the text from there and enter it here. So you can have whichever font you want in whichever color you want. So I've labeled some of these already and the way this book works is uh, you click on these tabs and you go to the different sections. When you click on that middle line, you go back to the index. The reason why I think that knowing how to turn printables into digital stickers is so important is because if you used to do paper planning at all, it's very likely that you already have a bunch of printables sitting around or you can find plenty of them online. And in fact, Printstick offers a ton of different options and I want to mention it's a little different if the file comes in a PDF or if it comes in a JPEG. It's uh, slightly different and there are several different ways to add stickers to your planner in GoodNotes because today I'm talking about stickers in GoodNotes so I will teach you how to do it both with a JPEG and with a PDF. So I have this PDF right here. When you purchase it, you will of course click to download and it'll send you to the Go Getsy site where you will be able to preview all the contents of your sticker. In this case, this is like a sticker book, so it has different pages with different stickers, okay? This is a PDF, as I said. So if you recall, when you get your planners from my shop or any other shop and you come to this page, the way you import it into GoodNotes is by clicking on this icon, which is the export icon, and then scrolling to find the app that you want. GoodNotes is right here and even though this is not a planner, it's a PDF so you can import it the same way. So if you tap there, GoodNotes is gonna load and in this case I'm gonna create a new document. I'm actually gonna create a new category, call it stickers and then you have to select that category, so right here. And there I have my sticker document, which again is a PDF, so it has several pages. Now from here, you can do several things. The first and easiest is to use your lasso tool and your pencil to draw around a sticker. And click here where it says take screenshot. And as you can see, it shows you the selection that you made. Then click on the export icon again. And here you have two options. You can either save image and save it to camera roll and then use it as any other PNG sticker that you've used in the past. Or I think what's easier, just copy. Then go to your sticker book where you're gonna place it. So in this case, let's go to decorative and then tap and hold, click on paste. And that's it. That's so easy, I got my sticker. But as you can see, there's a white background. So to get rid of most of that, I'm gonna tap again, click on crop, and then with this option selected, freehand option, just go around the sticker with your pencil as close to the image as you can. When you're happy with your selection, click done. And now, well, the pages are white, but as you can see right here in the corner, you can see that there's only like a nice little outline. And, and that's it. Once you, you can resize the sticker, you can rotate it the way you would any other sticker. Okay, so that is the quickest way to create a sticker and this was from a PDF. Now, if you want to remove the white background, that's when you would need your sheet to not be in a PDF format, rather be in either PNG or JPEG. Don't get confused, you don't need to know anything about this, but just know that JPEG and PNGs are usually the ones that you can save in your camera roll and PDFs cannot be saved to camera roll. That's the main difference, but I'll show you in a second with another example. This sheet comes in JPEG. So now this sheet is not a PDF, this is a JPEG. So when I click on this arrow, it's gonna offer me to save image. And that's the easiest way because now it's saved to my camera roll. So if I go back to GoodNotes, you probably know this method of split screen mode. 
where you can bring your photo library and then just drag the preview of the photo to your sticker book and then you have the full sheet so what you can do here is tap again click on crop and again you can just go around each of the stickers to crop them out click done and then again you have your sticker that is ready however as you can see I left quite a bit of outline here I really don't like it it doesn't matter if my background is white but when I go to my planner and I have different things or I have like a dotted spread or something this is gonna block like a big chunk of the page so now that's why it was important to make the difference between being able to save your sticker sheet to your camera roll or having a PDF so I'm going to show you now how to remove the white background with another uh, app. And that app is called Magic Eraser, which by the way, it only works uh, in portrait mode for some reason. I do not use this very often, so I have not bought the pro version, but you can do that if you don't want to have ads interrupting your work. So I was doing this uh, sheet before, but I'm going to start over, so let me go back. So as you can see, you have everything that's in your camera roll and this is the one that I just saved from the shop. Again, this was a JPEG, that's why I was able to save it directly to camera roll. So then these little corners here, they allow you to crop the image. For example, if I was only interested in having this green laundry machine, then maybe I can just crop the image click done and then move forward but since I want all of these stickers maybe I can just crop out the words here that I don't really need but usually I don't crop anything and I just hit done and move on to the next window so here is where you have your tools I'm just gonna quickly go over them this first one is your magic wand and what that does basically when you tap on any color it's gonna get rid of that entire color so I'm gonna do it again I was tapping on the white, which is my background, which is what I want to get rid of. And as you can see, like magic, it's gone. Okay, so it's that simple to get rid of your white background for your stickers. Now, if I wanted to remove a different color, same thing. I just tap on that color and it's going to be gone. All right. But in this case, we just want to remove the white background. With just one tap, it's gone. The next thing we need to do now is just click on that export icon that was on the top right corner of the page. And then just select a PNG. And the difference between these two is that the JPEG keeps a white background, which is not what we want. The whole point was to remove the background. So you need to pick the PNG option with, it says right here, a transparent background. So click there. And then it offers you high resolution or low resolution. Of course, we want high resolution to have the best quality of stickers. And it just says saved. And that means that it was saved to your camera roll. So if I go back, if I open my camera roll here, you will see that I have now, this is the first one that we downloaded from the shop and this is the second one, which as you can see, it's a little bit cropped, the words are cropped out and if I tap on it again, you will see that there's no background and if I swipe, this one is white, okay? So that's how you know that this one does not have a background. And if I drag this to the page, I'm gonna close this. So now you have this with a transparent background and as you can see there's no white outline, there's nothing that's going to be bothering me when using these in my planner. If you want to copy every single one of these stickers, I'll show you a little trick, just select with your lasso tool. You don't have to go around all of the stickers because remember this is still a single sheet, okay, they're not automatically separated. So I'm actually just going to move this out of the way. But if I do this, then all of them are selected, all right? So with the lasso tool, make a circle anywhere on the sheet, tap once, and just copy, all right? Because now I will just tap and hold to click on edit, tap once more, click on crop, and now I can start cutting out each of the stickers. So I wanna start with this little boy. And again, just go around it with your pencil. Since you don't have a white background, it doesn't matter if it's not too exact. Click on done. There we go. And then I have my boy. And if you move him on top of another sticker, as you can see, there's zero outline. And now I, I lost all of my stickers, but don't worry. If you tap and hold on the screen and click on paste, your whole sheet that we copied comes back. So deselect, now tap and hold, click on edit, tap once more, crop, and then you can select a different sticker. I just wanna mention here, it doesn't really matter 
where you are selecting exactly for example well these are close together but if I went here to my washing machine and then I left all this white space to the left and then I click on done it doesn't matter because it's transparent but when I select this you can see that I'm selecting the sticker whereas here that I was more exact I'm not selecting anything of this one okay so it just it's a little uncomfortable when you have all this space that you can't even see but if you use your lasso tool you are selecting your sticker so for that reason I recommend that you crop as close as possible to the actual image just so that you don't you know when you have a ton of stickers which you might when you're decorating your planner then it's gonna get really confusing to know where each sticker ends because it's invisible you can't really see you can't tell so that's my advice just crop it as near as you can the last thing I want to tell you in this video is remember we loaded our PDF set of stickers so now it's really cool in GoodNotes because you can export this and turn it into an image to save it in your camera roll so if you want to remove the white background of a PDF this is what you do you click on these dots select export and then here just click on export current page and that means that the page where you're at is the one that will be exported. Make sure that you have image selected here. Go back, it's gonna say image here. You can pick a name, but it doesn't really matter since this is gonna go to your camera roll anyway, and then click on export. Here, of course, you have a ton of different options and different apps where you can save this, but I'm just gonna select save to camera roll. Okay, perfect. Now, I will go back to my magic eraser app. I hit done because I was working on the previous project. I go back to select a different image. It's going to ask me if I want to start over. I click yes. And then now I can pick this one because it was saved to my camera roll. It's no longer a PDF. Again, you can crop if you want. I'm going to leave it as is. Click on done. And here I forgot to show you these other tools. These two you might not use a lot, but these two are useful because, for example, this one erases anything that it touches, but if, for example, I accidentally erased a part that I'm interested in keeping, then I, I'm gonna use this one that is like a restoring tool. So if I draw with it, it's actually gonna bring back my image. So that's basically what these two do. And right now it might not be necessary because it's so easy when you have all these contrasts to just tap and get rid of your background. Right now, as you can see, this uh, spider web was also eliminated, like the web itself, because it was white. And so if I wanted to bring back what was here, I can use this tool and just draw back. I'm actually gonna make it bigger. Using this slider, you can just slide it to the left and then the brush will become bigger. So now you can just bring back your spider web. So this is a great example of what this tool is good for. And then you are ready, so just click on this export icon, click PNG, high resolution, it's saved. Go back to GoodNotes, Go to my sticker book, tap and hold, click image, photos, and find this last photo that I just created. Remember that you can copy this sheet first, then just tap and hold on your sheet, click on edit, crop, and just crop out each of the stickers. So one at a time, then click done and start creating your sheet. Tap and hold again, click paste, you have your whole sheet. Tap and hold, click on edit, crop and select the next sticker done there we go so yeah guys this is how you turn any printable into digital stickers to use on any of your planners in GoodNotes this would also work if you're using a different app that is not GoodNotes the process of removing the background from the sheet is the same and then you just have to load the image as a photo to your planner so yeah guys this is how you turn any printable into digital stickers for your planner I think this is so useful because you have so many options and some of them are like really affordable so you can get a ton of different designs and it might seem like it's time consuming and it kind of is but once you get the hang of it and if you only start converting the stickers that you're using at one time and then you know slowly build up your library it's gonna be nice to have it all here I already added some of them I'm not sure in which sections 
I have these are actually from my shop I, I'm starting like to slowly build my own library so you can do the same really it goes quick and that's it please let me know down below if you have any questions at all and I'm curious to know if you were already using printable stickers in your planner and if you have a different method maybe you can mention it in the comments just to explore that option as well as always thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it to let me know and I'll keep producing videos like these don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on any video that I upload. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!